G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today's video is the White Horse Hill Shelter on the Bibbleman Trek. Standing with a shelter behind me, looking down on your fire ring there. Some nice decent benches they've got now. So no need to drag any logs up. You've got your barbecue plates on there and a hook to hang your billy. And next to that, we have a picnic bench with some fantastic views. That used to go the opposite way. But they've turned it around 90 degrees now. We've installed some steps here. It's all been changed and renovated since I was here last, which makes it a lot easier. We have two water tanks, one on the right hand side and one down here on the left hand side. Just remember to be sparing with what water you use. Only use what you need because these are rainwater tanks so they're not connected to the main so it's not a constant flow and always remember other people are going to need the water too so just be a little respectful and use only what you need don't waste it now they've added an extension on this and it used to only come to about here if I remember so that's nice having an extension, some extras are sitting there if it's raining or to get some shade. They have hooks to hang your pack. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven only here. We've got one either side on this post. One down there on that post, or two should I say, with one either side. And either side in the main supports where the bunk beds are and as you can see we've got the bunk beds a nice flat boarding which goes all the way across and up there to another set of bunk beds and it can sleep between 12 and 15 depends how cosy you like it they usually have hooks along that back wall but I don't know why they don't have any here I think probably the whole idea is so the mice don't go along there, but they still find their way in, even when you're hanging them from up here. So just be aware of that. So uh, I always leave my food out, away from anybody, or away from the mice. I don't leave it in my pack. And using my pack, I've got my food bag. Most all the food comes in um, vacuum packs, and in a food bag, and then in my dry bag inside my pack and then inside my pack. So when I have left it in my bag, I haven't had any trouble with it at all. I always leave my used bags out here. So if there are mice or any critters, they'll come to that one rather than heading for someone's pack. But the views are brilliant, is all I can say. Let's go and have a look. We've got the toilets and the tent pitches down this way. They've got and I can see three other trails going different directions. We'll make that four. There's another one here. So should we start here? Oh no, that's the track out heading back north. That one is. Now this one here, as you can see by the sign, they say to you tent pitches and toilets. So let's go and have an explore. So there's one fairly nice tent pitch here. The actual track to this one takes you on a swirl. So you take a swirl round. Now these have all been redone, these are all new. And I'll give you a size idea. I'll be calling a tent the average two person hiking tent. 
But on this first one, you're going to be able to fit two at a squeeze on the other one com comfortably. It's fairly flat, you've got little bits of pea gravel and stuff. So if you're going to be using your bivvy or your tent, always carry a uh, ground sheet or also a footprint they're known as. Now let's follow the track around so we get to all of them. So here's the next one on the right hand side. Uh, only slightly smaller than the other. So if you were to attempt to put two on there, it'd be a terrible squeeze and it'd probably not really do it. So that'd be one comfortable. But again, it's all the, the stones and the pea gravel. So it's all nice and flat. But these have all been redone and looks like recent since I was here last. So. Yeah. Next one or the next two are down here on the left. They're roughly the same size. That's the same size as the first one. You can fit two tents on there quite comfortably. And again, it's nice and level. Got all your stones and your pea gravel there. But if you've got a good sleeping mat and there one, you probably won't feel any of them. And the next one, this one's a little bit bumpy. I think it's the nearest one to the toilet. Big enough for one on there, nice and easy. I can see more tent pitches up there. So what we'll do, we'll do all the tent pitches first and then we'll come back down and show you the new toilet that's been built. Uh, there's a new toilet over there. Let's carry on like I said with the tent pitches. Next one. Now this is the smallest one so far. You'd get a two person on there. But you guys would have to come off that on one side if you wanted an area to sit on the outside. But again, nice and level. Look at these views, eh? it's just beautiful. After it skews the wind, it's just picked up today. Now, the next one on the left here. Now, a very tight squeeze if you're not using your guy, you'd get two on that, but. I'd say that is a, a one person, that one. And now coming up to the next one. Like I said the wind is just picking up as I go up the hill here. Again, about the same size as the last one. Out of squeeze, you get two on there, but comfortably, realistically, say one. But fairly level. Still got all your stones. You can see here where somebody's had their pegs in the ground. And it's like they've had to really uh, hit them in because a lot of stones there. So if you're not an ultra lighter and you don't mind, Bring yourself a little multi-tool hammer to get your pegs in. Let's carry on around. What I didn't point out in that last couple, they've got logs set up so you've got somewhere to actually sit. Now this one you don't, but you've got the rocks here or the big stones. Now the shape though is more longer than wide you could squeeze two on that but one very comfortably with room to spare and again all the stones the pea gravel fairly level still but like I said a decent sleep mat and all will be good now I can see another one 
up there. Let's go and have a look. Let's head back down towards the shelter. That's uh, a lot of tent pitches so far. And like I said, apart from one, they've all been really level. But you could get away with that one. That's a little bit bumping up and down. Again, with a decent sleep mat. Oh, there you go. Start climbing again. Now this is your next one. Easy, big enough for two on there. Level, a little bit down a bit on that side where it looks like it's worn away. But in general, that's nice. You can see where somebody's actually had a fairly large tent there, a large two person tent. They've cleared the centre they have. But again, all the pea gravel. I think we're going to get that on all of them here. Nowhere to sit down apart from your rocks. We'll walk back down to the shelter. And they put a branch across here as if it's a barrier so you don't go any further. But the track carries on, maybe this takes us up. Ah oh, no, this is the way out. This is back on the Bilbo track heading south. Let's walk down and see if there's any on the other side. No, I can't see any over there. I think some of the old ones are over there. Let's take a shortcut across here and have a look. No, can't see anything on this side. on the other side of the shelter. No, nothing down there. Okay, let's go and show you the toilet. The dunny. Now the toilets on the building track at the shelters are not flushing toilets. They are drop toilets and composting. So only drop down the toilet tissue. Don't drop down any of the wet wipes or baby wipes because as the material and then the chemicals in them destroy the com uh, composting. And ladies, if it's that time of the month, your towels and other stuff need to be carried out as they destroy the composting too. Now since I was here last the toilet's been upgraded. It's on a nice flat concrete slab. It's about three, four, maybe more sizes bigger than it used to be. Oh no. So look. Oh yeah, give it a shove. Oh, look at that. They've got benches in here. So if you want to get out of the storm, I can't see a problem with this. Laying down on that. And look at the area in here. It's just massive. I think the reason is, for some reason, they have to have uh, toilets now big enough for disabled access even though it's going to be very difficult for them to get here ah look they're still in the process they haven't put the finish doing the latch on this it's going to be a fair size you know we're going to have the going through here to the outside so you can open and close it
toilet paper even though this one's got some in remember to bring your own because in general it's not supplied you get some other hikers they'll leave it behind and every now and then the people who help the volunteers help cl uh, clean the shelters at time or do basic repairs on the track they'll drop some off whilst they're out here so thank you if any of you are listening for that and that's all that's here now this is one like I said you can just well I relax at this one uh, yeah it's just beautiful so I'll leave you there so if you've enjoyed the video and you haven't subscribed yet please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to that and select all then click the thumbs up the like button and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care <laughs>